today I'm at the Goober Wars 2012, which is the hottest red carpet event happening. Now today, we're going to be in for a treat. I'm talking interviews and a high profile list of celebrities as they grace the red carpet. It's just great to come to an evening that's well organised. It's great to see people, black people achieving and doing well. It's great to see Africans doing well. And it's nice to know that you're in a company of you know, great people. It's fantastic that a group of young uh, ladies and young men have gotten together to set this thing up. You know, we don't celebrate success and excellence often in Africa. And this is a wonderful achievement. This is a wonderful initiative. Because at the very least, it would, it would inspire others to try and attain the highest that they can attain in their endeavours. It's great. I think it's a fantastic opportunity to bring everybody together. All these people are making a great contribution, either here in the UK or in Ghana. What you're seeing now is something that's growing so beautifully. It's a great night. You know, everybody's here and, um, you know, it's uh, running smoothly and, you know, I think it's just getting better and better. Very, very impressed. Very, very impressed. Big shout out to Denta and to all the people involved in the Goober Awards. I think you do a fantastic thing and long may it continue and long may you have support from the industries, the blue chip companies to help you finance this great event. I'm just grateful that Google recognised me and people have really gone out and voted for me so I'm just happy to be here, I'm just happy I've got this award. For Google, I think they're doing a fantastic job recognising people from Africa. <laughs> Goober Awards is about celebrating Ghana, in essence. It's about putting our people on a platform and letting the young people know that we have great role models. I'm honoured to be the patron of Goober, and this is an organisation that is uniquely positioned to provide a worldwide platform for excellence. And tonight, you will see many examples of this. I really, really enjoyed it. It's a very good crowd, um, and very inspirational, and some wonderful people up for awards. So I did really enjoy tonight. This award reflects what we've been able to achieve with the kids. This is one of the greatest visions that have been birthed. I mean, this platform is going to go out to be one of the best platforms ever. But the guys at Gooba did a great, put together a really great event. I can't believe I've got the opportunity to be involved in such an organisation. I've got a chance to be nominated with my affiliated organisations and it was fun. I'm so honoured to have received this award and I really hope that my story will serve as an encouragement to other young black people, to other young Ghanaians, that we can't let the barriers of society hold us down. We need to break those barriers. How does the nomination make you feel? I mean, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm working, I do 50 things in football okay. and I'm working with the chocolate industry in, in Ghana. So I have a lot of, a lot of things connected me. The first woman of African or Caribbean origin to be elected to the House of Parliament as an MP, Diane Abbott. The organisation of the evening is extraordinary. One thing that I've been very, very impressed with is that tonight is very much, of course, about uh, Ghana. Um, but for those that are receiving awards, it's delightful and I think fitting that it's not only Ghanaians that are receiving the awards. It's about Africa and I think that's the beauty of this evening. So, thank you very much. Thank you to Guba. I am shocked. Um, I knew there was going to be something, but I didn't know my mum was going to be all the way here from Ghana. And I cry, my mother go carry me, she go see my people. It's going to a young lady who is only six years old. At six, she's already written two books. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to start. Say a baby, a 
Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ghana UK Based Achievement Awards 2012. Mm-hmm.